2 Peter 3, 6. For of this sort are they which creep into houses and let captive silly woman laden with sin led away with divers lusts. Ten reasons why you decide to be a witch. On a ten reason why you, you, yes, you decide to become a witch. Silly woman and silly men. Now, ten W of being a witch. Number one, you are weird. Number two, you worship things. Number three, you warn in the spirit. Number four, you want the wrong things in life. Five, you're a woman that feel superior. Six, strong will person. Seven, wishing of deception. Eight, you seek earthly wisdom. Nine, you let wickedness fill your heart. Ten, you listening to whispers telling you the wrong thing. So ten reasons why you decided to be a witch. Number one, you are weird. You look spooky and creepy. You want to isolate from society so you introduce to satanic power or satanic movement. Number two, you worship things and phenomenal and fall in a trap of Harry Potter quest or other magician like David Copperfield. Third reason, you've been worn in a battle of your mind and decide to be like Eve being deceived, seeking wisdom and knowledge. Because a serpent tell it, if you eat this fruit, you be like gods, knowing good and evil. And the, and the Holy Scriptures say that she saw that the, the fruit was desirable and she picked it and called her husband and they ate it. And the Bible, the Holy Scriptures say they was kicked out of the garden. Fourth reason, you've been wanting the wrong thing which turned in lustrous desire. For you've been wanting the wrong thing, which turn into lustrous desires. You know what the lustrous desires are. It bringeth forth sin when it's finished, and bringeth forth death. Do not err, my beloved brethren. Fifth reason, since you are a woman, you have a strong heart. Things command and committed have to go your way. You're a strong woman. You have a strong heart. Things command. Commitment have to go your way. Number six reason, you are a strong will person. You are very bossy, manipulating, intimidating. Things have to go your way as I planned it. Or I will chant or proportion or X to get it. Yes, my friend. Ten reasons why you became a witch. Seven reasons you wish to have power beyond this world. You wish to have supernatural power. So what? You became a witch. Eighth reason, you seek wisdom that took your mind. Now you are brainwashed just like the devil. The devil thought he, he know more than the, create, than the creator. And God kicked him on and Jesus Christ said, I saw Satan as lightning that fell from heaven. Knife reason why you became a witch. You became a witch because wickedness have entered your heart. Though you are you you will perceive it will help people, 
but it will control and condemn your soul to the lake of fire. Yes, it will. It will it will condemn you. It will destroy you. And it will condemn your soul in the lake of fire. What is saying, preacher? The Bible is saying in Revelation 21, chapter verse 8, it says, But the fearful and unbelieving and vulnerable and murderers and whoremongers and sorcerer and all idolaters and all liars shall have their part in the lake which burn with fire and brimstone. This is the second death. And number 10th reason why you became a witch. You listen to the whispers in your ears. God speak to us by our spiritual ear. Jesus spoke to the seventh church in Revelation 21 chapter, uh, Revelation chapter 2 verses 17. And he say, he that have an ear, let him hear what the Spirit said to the churches. To him that overcome will I give to eat of the hidden manna, and will give him a white stone, and, a, and in the stone a new name written, which no man knoweth save he that receive it. So you became a witch because you listened to the whispers of satanic movement in your life. Listen, if you're watching this video, it's time to give your life to Jesus Christ. Don't give your life to mythology. Don't give your life to, to Mother Earth. Don't even give your life to Venus or Jupiter. But give your life to the one that died on the cross. The one that conquered death. The one that say, death, where is your sting? Oh, grave, where is your victory? So, ten reasons why you became a witch. These are the W's, my friend. And as I mentioned, you listen to the whispers. And when you listen to the whisper, you answer the whisper and then you transition over to become a witch. You wasn't born a witch. You decide to accept the, the, the calling in your spirit of becoming a witch. So if you've been a witch, it's time for you to get out of it and switch back to become a Christian. Ten reason why you became a witch. And it's time for you to acknowledge that Jesus Christ is calling your name. My friend, there is a judgment. And if your name not written in the Lamb Book of Life, God going to tell you, angel, escort them to the lake that bake for eternity. But do yourself a favor. Stop listening to your forefathers' teaching. Stop listening to Harry Potter instruction. But listen to the Holy Scripture instruction that say, except a man be born again, he can't enter into the kingdom of God. As if a man be born again, he can enter in the kingdom of God. And as if a man be born again, he can see the kingdom of God. And so if a man be born of the water and the spirit, he can enter into the kingdom of God. Which is time for you to switch back to the creator that created you. Mother Earth didn't create you. Lucifer didn't create you. Glory to God. The book of shadow didn't create you, but it was God, the God of the universe, the God of your soul. He created you. So wake up and realize you are a witch and your destiny is in a lake that bake forever. Oh, Father God, bless this witch right now. Oh, God, open the window of heaven and pour them out a blessing of salvation rest them holy ghost let them realize they need to repent of their sins come out 
from among them. And be separate, say the Lord, and touch not the unclean thing, and I'll receive you unto myself. Wake up and realize you need salvation. <laughs>